smashes this to left field. Kelly gives up on it. It's long gone. A record tying, bases clearing, Brito Bomb. Go, Chris! Again, congratulations to getting signed to the Kansas City Royals. Um, can you share your initial reaction to when you found out you were joining the team? Um, I knew for a while it was going to happen. I just basically like kept it on the low. Like, like we say, I kept it on the low. So I didn't like want to like jinx myself or anything, like something would happen. So uh, I knew for a while. I knew before Thanksgiving. And then I got signed, I think, December 3rd. Nice. So... When it happened, I was in uh, Woodbridge with my niece in a trampoline place. Yes, yes. And the guy called me and said, uh, welcome to the family. And I was shocked and I called my parents. Well, my mom was with me and my niece was with me. So, and it was a, it was a surreal moment when it happened. To make it to this moment, um, what spe who were your, like your specific mentors or coaches um, who played that crucial role in developing you to become the baseball player you are now Oof. there's there's <laughs> a lot yeah. uh i could go back from little league starting with uh kenny ortiz so kenny was always the main supporter and when i was younger uh letting me play up to my age mm -hmm. i was i was younger than everybody from, from the little league and he still let me play with like with the 12 year olds so that that since since little league i've been um I've been playing up. So and when I was playing travel ball as well, Bobby Blenister, which was my travel ball for like five years, uh, he let me play up as well. I was like 13, 14 playing with like the 18 year olds. Mm -hmm. So developing me in that way was was good because I was able to see better competition than I was than my actual age. Mm -hmm. And to answer your question, I'll go with Alex Perez, uh, Damian Clark, uh, Michael Jasper, Josco Rodriguez, uh, John Riley helped me a lot. Um, Ruben from high school. Um, I feel like I'm missing a lot more. Um, Steve Owens from my uh, Rutgers baseball team. And that's about it, yeah. And he takes Lunsman deep to left center field. Did he get it? He did! Chris Brito! has broken the all-time Rutgers home run record. He surpasses Todd Frazier, the Todd father, and he stands alone with 43 home runs, a new all-time program record. What a moment for the Perth Amboy, New Jersey native, and with that big fly, he puts Rutgers up 7-2. So again, looking back into your roots of growing up in Perth Amboy, um, how do you feel representing Perth Amboy in such a huge stage now? Um, I always represent Amboy anywhere I go. They, people ask me, uh, where are you from? Where are you from? I was like, Perth Amboy. I'm like where that's at, right, right next to New York, right next to the waterfront. Mm -hmm. And I'll make it known where I'm from because I take pride into that because that's just something I've, I've been here since I was little. and. This is somewhere I, I probably call home because the the people, you know how it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows each other. It's a small community, so everybody's on your back. What was your driving force in helping you achieve your goal and making it to the major league? Like, I'm, I'm guessing it was one of your major goals to even make it this far, no? Yeah. Yeah. I, I would guess, like, the, wrong, the right people doubting me because I know the my support system always believed in me and I believed in myself. So I feel like everybody else not giving me an opportunity gave me gave me that uh, motivation to keep going. And I knew I knew myself that I could do it. Just everybody else didn't think I could do it. And uh, hopefully, well, this year I will show those other 29 teams that I could definitely do it. Have you had time to reflect on this, on what this achievement means to you personally and how it aligns to your dreams growing up? Um, I haven't enjoyed it yet.
because mm -hmm. this is like my off season and okay. it's so I gotta like keep working out mm -hmm. and I, I leave in two weeks so I didn't I can't I can't have time to enjoy myself I enjoy myself over there while I'm playing so yeah. so yeah I definitely enjoy myself my family and my support system mm -hmm. so but other than that now nah, I haven't really enjoyed myself not yet <laughs> So what words of encouragement or advice would you want to give to the youth of Perth Amboy? Um, I would say it doesn't matter what, where you come from, what background, um, what has happened to you throughout your life, just keep going because of course life is not fair. And especially where we come from, um, everybody's gonna keep pounding us down, 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 but we just can't stop because we already are in a disadvantage. So if you could just keep going for you and your family and prove yourself to your family, all you gotta do is just worry about you and your family and basically where you come from. If you have all those three, that's all you need. So if you keep going, keep striving for your goal, always always have that, that's another thing, always know what you wanna do and why you do it. Cause if you have that why, then that would take you sky's the limit because my why is obviously my mom. Mm -hmm. So if my mom, I always see her working hard and she never, she never took a day off basically. Mm -hmm. She's, yes. and that's what, and that's what me and my siblings take from her. And that's a good trait because I, I don't like taking days off. I like piling up the days. If you pile up the days, then eventually they're, they're going to pay off. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we now see your results. And we, again, like, we're so excited. We're so proud of you. And we cannot wait to see you take the field. Yeah. <laughs>